Hi there guys, my name is Hayley Louise and welcome to my channel. I don't know how this has happened, but this is going to be my 200th video. Two f***ing hundred! I mean, how? Why? What? So I may not be some massive YouTuber um, that's, you know, raking in the dollar, but uh, I really enjoy being on YouTube. And as it's my 200th video, 200th, 200th video, I thought what better way to celebrate than uh, to do the YouTube interview tag. This consists of a lot of questions and I'm going to answer them now for you. And let's walk through the history of these 200 videos. Also, for my next video, I would like a vote uh, from you guys. I'm going to put a vote poll in my Instagram stories, so make sure that you are following me over on there. I may even ask you on Snapchat or whatever. So, would you like to do one, a Q&A where I answer your guys' questions, because I haven't done one of those in quite a while. Do I look back on my old videos and react to them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Okay, without further ado, let's get into this tag. Question number one, how did it feel to make your first video? Nerve wracking, but at the same time I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and do it. I did a something about me, 25 facts about me, something like that. Um, and it's awful and it's still live on my channel and I have not watched that literally basically since I've uploaded it. Number two, did you show anyone your first video before you uploaded? No, 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 no. And I probably should have because someone else probably would have had a little bit of a better idea on how to, you know, edit things other than me. It wasn't great. <laughs> Number three, do your friends and family know about your channel? Yes, quite a few of my friends do know. Um, quite a lot of my family does know. Uh, my mum literally stalks my videos. Hi mum. Not everyone knows, like I haven't like announced it to the world. Number four, are, there, are any of your family and friends subscribed to your channel? My mummy is subscribed to my channel and that's only because I set her up an account and press subscribe. Ha ha! <laughs> yeah, I think my mum is most definitely subscribed to my YouTube channel. Um, I think my sister is, I'm not sure. She doesn't watch any videos unless she's in them. Um, but yeah, so a few, a few people. So if you're watching this guys, help a girl out! Press the subscribe button! Number five, did anyone think you were crazy for being a YouTuber. I do not class myself at all as a YouTuber, even though I might hashtag it sometimes in an Instagram post. I don't know. I don't like these words like I'm a YouTuber, I'm an influencer, I'm this, I'm that. Like I just think uh, there are hundreds of thousands of people uploading videos, so I make videos and put them on YouTube. I like to think of it that way. Most people think I'm crazy the majority of the time, so uh, you know. Number six, how and why did you choose your YouTube channel name? Well, after a lot of thought, I decided to go with my name so that I actually didn't forget what it was called. Number seven, what have you gained from being a YouTuber? In general, I just think a lot more friends and um, I am so, so thankful for that. And I'm thankful, I just wanna say thank you like for all of you guys who sit and watch a video. Like I'm literally sat in my room making a YouTube video. I've just realized I've got none of my lights on back there. <sighs> Never mind. And yeah, just friends basically and um, I guess a little bit more confidence in front of the camera, not necessarily like in real life. It's given me that kind of skill. Um, also editing and things like that, because my editing in the beginning was atrocious. I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything now, like hashtag pro. But yeah, I just feel a lot more like comfortable and at ease being around cameras and things, because beforehand I did not even like my picture being taken. So that's really changed a lot. But I think um, the friendships and connections I've made like through YouTube, has been life-changing because I've said in previous videos, but I would never ever meet you guys um, in, in, in real life, um, in my walk of life. So 
yeah that's been really really amazing and there's so many like just awesome and inspiring people out there Number eight, are you interested in doing giveaways? Yes, I am interested in doing giveaways. I um, feel like at this point in time where I am, I don't want to do giveaways because I don't want people just to subscribe in order to win. Do you know what I mean? I would like to be able to do a giveaway and actually give to you guys, like my subscribers who have been here for God knows how long, even if you're just joining me now, hi. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like um, I really wanna get to the 1,000 and I'm, I'm planning on doing like a 1,000 subscribers giveaway, um, but it's a while off yet. So we'll see, we'll see. You wanna get me closer, you can uh, hit the subscriber. <laughs> I'm joking. Number nine, do you allow subscribers to send you gifts? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, like, if someone wants to, like, if, if someone wanted to, like, send me a card or something, like, it would be lovely. It would be lovely to have received, like, gifts from you guys, but I don't ever want to be like, oh, here's a P.O. box and feel free to send me things and then everyone feel like they have to send me something. Do you know what I mean? Like, I get a lot of, like, private messages and stuff to just say, hey, like, I really enjoy your channel and that, to me, is just absolutely amazing and I prefer that over any like possessions I think but if you want to send me chocolates then uh, feel free uh, number 10 I'm going to have to skip because it says how do your kids feel about you being their mum on YouTube saying that I don't really have to skip it Ginge my cat is uh, he's fine with it he's adjusting to the um, fame and spotlight um, and he's he's happy with where I'm going so yeah Number 11, how do you choose your topics? A lot of the time, in the beginning, it was literally just stuff that I thought of that I wanted to do, basically. Um, and it still is. If I go out and buy something and I wanna share it with you guys because I'm excited about it or I'm trying something or my thoughts on something, then I just I just wanna share it with you. But obviously, I'm doing like other stuff as well, which is more your guys' opinion, which I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a mix of basically what I want to do and um, people like you guys influencing what you want to see from this channel. Number 12, would you consider collaborating with others to make videos? I have um, done a few like collaborations in the past with my friends that also do YouTube. I would like to definitely do some more like collabs in the future, maybe uh, do a little bit of traveling around, like might start off with the UK, you know. Um, travel around, like around the UK, meet up with a few guys, do a few like collabs on videos. That would be absolutely amazing. So if any of you are interested, then send me an invite and I will be there at some point in my life. <laughs> at number 13, other than makeup and fashion, what do you like to watch on YouTube? I literally would watch anything on YouTube. I really, really like gaming channels, obviously. I, I am an avid gamer. I like to watch um, documentaries. They're mostly on serial killers. I am just one massive ball of fun. But yeah, lots of documentaries, um, obviously uh, all of my friends and things on YouTube, I love watching. Um, yeah, a little bit of everything to be, to be completely honest. Number 14, have you ever uploaded the wrong video? No, I have not, but I feel like my time is coming that I'm gonna make a big mistake at some point. <laughs> Number 15, what do you prefer, filming alone or filming with others in the room? At this moment, most definitely, I prefer filming a video like by myself because I can kind of like stop, slow down, correct myself and I kind of know now when I have to edit myself as well, like to pause in certain places and things, which you can't always guarantee with other people. Plus, I just feel like it is, I don't know about any of you guys that film videos, but it is rather cringe like when you've got someone sat next to you and you're like trying to talk to a camera when another person is there but with other people it's usually a lot more fun number 16 you don't have to give names are there any youtubers that just irk you if so what about them irks you yes there are obviously i don't know if there is anyone in particular to be honest it's just you know sometimes when you're watching a video and then you're just like I don't like this. It might be something to do with the way that they've spoken or 
like you know something something that they've said like in a certain way just their style of video i mean everyone has their own opinions and preferences like especially when they're watching a youtube video um same as anything else you know so yeah but not anyone in particular number 17 what is some general advice you would give to someone wanting to start a youtube channel just go for it I feel like that is as general as you're gonna get. Like, if you really wanna start a YouTube channel, just go for it. Decide what, what video you wanna film, film it, upload it, see what happens, see how you feel about it. And also, just ignore people. I know that sounds really bad, but just ignore people saying things that are bad to you because it really doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. They are absolute strangers to you, so. Haters gonna hate. You know what I mean? Number 18, have you ever thought about transitioning from YouTube to your own website? Um, I have, I don't know um, if there is a lot of point in me transitioning to my own website, whether or not people would actually come over and watch it, I don't know. Um, I tried to start a blog once, it's still up, it's still somewhere, I think it's linked to my YouTube channel. Um, I would like to get more into blogging, so if any of you guys, I know quite a few of you actually are bloggers, then if you want to give me some tips on how to start that or where would be like a good place to start, then let me know in the comments section. And also, obviously, if it's, if it's a good idea. 19. What are some opportunities that you have gotten to do because of YouTube? I am still very teeny tiny in the world of YouTube, um, but opportunities, meeting people. I went to meet Gal from Random Life Productions last year. That was absolutely amazing. Um, and just, yeah, share a, like little snippets of my life with you guys. I feel like that is an opportunity in itself and um, it's gonna give me something to like look back on as well like I can look back on those videos and be like that was an awesome day you know obviously like I've done a couple of collabs with um, some like clothing sites and things like that and skincare sites which I absolutely love because um, it just gives me like an opportunity one to test out their products and two tell you guys like what I think of them I hope that in the future like I would have more opportunities to kind of like go to um, not so much like events but things like so that I could meet some subscribers like if, if you if you want to meet me I was so presumptuous that people actually want like want to see me like just actually sit down and have a chat with some of you lot that would be awesome if if I had an opportunity like that but yeah fingers crossed maybe at some point in the future and number 20 when you first started how did you get the word out that you were making videos did you just upload and hope for the best or did you connect with fellow youtubers option a i uploaded and hoped for the best i posted a picture to my instagram said so i uploaded a video go and watch it if you want that was the beginning of my youtube journey and now we are here with all of you guys Woo! Okay, so that was the end of the video. Made it through 20 questions. Woohoo! I will link all of those questions if you guys want to do it too in the description box down below. Let me know on the voting situation uh, or just drop me a comment down below. Social media links and everything in the description box. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and want to join the family and I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye! Thanks for watching.